YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Ari. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be reacting to a video. It's like I've seen a lot of videos about Tricycle Kickers. Where I'm from, I'm from the Tricycle Kickers. Born and I'm here right now. Let me see. Hold on. Uh, before, okay. Get my what? I want to show y'all. So as you can see, all my IDs have. Oh, not that one. That's my cards. You can see it. I don't know if you can see it. TCI. But all my IDs have Turks and Caicos, Turks and Caicos, Turks and Caicos. Alright. So, my IDs, you can't be somebody fast. Yeah. So, I'm going to be giving you the cold, blunt, honest truth about visiting the, the Turks and Caicos. This video says things to know before you travel into the Turks and Caicos. I'm going to either confirm or deny. And I'm going to be blunt. I'm not going to give you no bull. Eh, right? I'm going to keep it blunt. And I'm going to keep it honest. This is how we talk when you come to the church and Gigas. Just letting you know. All right? I probably speak a little worse, but you know, it is what it is. If you're new to the channel, smash that like and subscribe. Comment down below what you want to see. All right? So let's get into it. TCI, beautiful water. Nice B&B. Hey, guys, it's so hot. We just want to jump in that pool behind us. I know. <laughs> that, that pool is honestly like calling my name. It sure is. But we just want to let you guys know some things that you should know if you're planning on traveling to Texas. Local beer. I ain't gonna lie. I think that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. I ain't gonna lie. Local beer, try one. Yeah, that's what it is. Because there's the next one. This, I ain't gonna lie. Go on to North and I soon reach. Wait, no. That one is I soon reach. I lie, I lie, I lie, I lie. As I soon reach, I soon reach, I soon reach. And Kekos. Um, I soon we reach. flew here on a spontaneous five day trip mm -hmm. that we literally booked two days before we arrived. Okay, I can tell you right now, they got money. <laughs> Just because they say it's spontaneous two days before, they got money. I'm going to keep it a buck. From the moment they say that, I, they got, they, they, they okay, they comfortable. Because my baby just finished chemotherapy. Baby. Baby. And oh. he's cancer free. So, so we're celebrating. Yes. Big up, big bro. Life. Hey, exactly. shout out to you, bro. So we just want to let you know the things that we found out um, on this trip and things that you should just be beware of before you come. You are in that dream, so, bro. Yeah. yeah. I think and for if you us, see me, like, one of the first things me. that stood out to us, just even from landing into Turks and Caicos, mm -hmm. just being on the flight. See? On yeah. the flight, yeah. they do hand <laughs> out the disembarkation <laughs> forms. See. Oh, yeah. The local people. Boy, yeah. on the flight they do hand out the disembarkation Sorry. forms. Oh yeah, the local beer. <laughs> I get so scared just outside. <laughs> that was good shots. <laughs> oh, I'm a pussy. <laughs> Cause no man, how the breeze sound in the video it got me scared. Listen, I'm paranoid like him. All right, yeah. The local beer. On the flight, they do um, hand out disembarkation forms and also yep. hand out custom forms. Mm -hmm. So you do fill that out on the plane when you're about to like. Okay, from a local person, I hate these forms. These should be digital by now. My opinion, the there is no reason why we still need paper customer customs declaration form. But you know, land about an hour away, which is very different from our trip to Aruba because we actually fill those out. I think like. Before we even got on the plane, like yeah, it was we electronic. We do it online, yeah. yeah. But for this, they get you on the plane. So make sure you bring a pen. Yes. Because that was an issue for us. Normally, I always carry a pen, but I, I brought a different bag this time. And Don't I was worry, so boo. devastated because I, I had bring no my own pen. pen. And we had to, like, literally, we asked flight attendants who had no pens. They had no pens. And we had to ask, like, neighbors. And everybody was, like, borrowing pens. Our neighbors pens. had no pens. Yeah. I, I think there was, like, one pen going around the, the whole, whole entire plane. So just make sure you have a just put a train on pen. It's crazy. The customs. Yeah. <laughs> but otherwise it was pretty it was pretty smooth travel for us it like, was it was yeah so one of the difficult parts for us too was actually when we landed mm -hmm. so going through customs that's pretty quick it's easy yeah but once you land you know depending on if you're renting mm -hmm. or not it could be a little bit complicated for complicated for uh, us. renting a car yeah we decided car. to rent a car and we did some random rental company and we were like I think waiting. it was called next car we were waiting outside of the airport for like 30, good, 45 minutes. And in this heat, you don't want to wait. Okay, I've never heard of that company. Not saying it is not reliable. 
Just don't know about it. Um, just to let you know, just saying, we do have your typical rental company. Any, just about any rental company you could think of. Alamo, Hertz, Dollar. Wait, we have Dollar? No, no, we don't have Dollar. I lie. Budget, sorry, not Dollar. Avis, Hertz, um... Say Avis, Hertz, Budget, Alamo. It's another one. I can't even remember. Oh, and if you want to go with more local, not local, but Church and Cakes Base Company, Grace Bay Car Rentals, the next well established, trustworthy company. Rent a Buggy is another trust uh, worthy company. Those are the ones that I can think of in my head that I personally know. Those are the big ones. And they're, they're good companies, you know? Next, maybe if I see the logo, I probably would know better. Wait, yeah. yeah. So like you're out there like dying, like yeah, like with your luggage and hot. everything, like waiting for someone to like pull up and come get you. Yeah. Also keep in mind the cars out here are not as modern. If you're from like the United 2019 States, 2019 models, yeah. 2021. No, you're gonna get like a 1996. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate. What is bitch line? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> to say 1996. Oh, no. In a goddamn 1996. Stop the cap. You cap it. 1996. Fuck out of here. Um, yes, there are small cars like this. But, man, hold on. If you feel like you're a big shot and your money long, yeah, you could do it. <laughs> you can, you know, man, I'll put you in the 2023 now. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, just saying. <laughs> Nissan. From I don't even know they don't I don't know but like just be prepared it has air conditioning though so yeah, thank you that's what I matter <laughs> but one of the funny things about our rental is that like the rearview mirror sorry but uh, you know what the drug dealers always sell a card like how they always promote their cards um, she running AC on burr or AC cool no other information like mileage last service nothing they just have she running an AC on burr. And honestly, you get my attention from the time you say AC on Burr. Ended up falling off. Oh my God, we gotta show point. them. <laughs> so we've, we were, we've been literally driving in Turks and Caicos with no rear view mirror. Yeah. He did offer to come. Okay, stop lying. <laughs> that's not a rear view mirror. <laughs> the rear view, okay, so that's one of your rear view mirrors. But obviously you have your two door mirrors. You know, I feel like I'm making a lot of fucking excuse right about now. <laughs> No, it's our B&B, but because culture. we are oh, yeah, on vacation, we just felt like we didn't want to drop our pin to have someone come because yeah. it's already a foreign country. We didn't want to feel unsafe and have yeah. like someone come into and nowhere know we our, live. Our, our address, where yeah, we're so like we just that. were like, it's fine, you know. We know how to drive without a rear view, yeah. so that's on us. They could have came and fixed it, but it should have never been falling off anyway. <laughs> <laughs> right? But you know, we're expert drivers. Yeah. Except we're not really no expert drivers because here in Turks and Caicos, they drive on the opposite side of the street. From the United States. From so you United know, States. if you're from the U.S., we drive on the left. Like, the, the driver's yeah. side is on the left side of the car, but here, the driver's side is on the right. And this is the first time ever. We always rent cars when we're yeah. on vacation. But it's the first time ever we we rented a car where we're driving on the right side. So that was, like, pretty interesting for us. But you got the hang of it, babe. I did, I did. He's like okay, um... So I have to keep on stop, but there's a lot of things I just gotta, you know. Yes, the right hand is the the steering also on the right hand for some cars. Once again, you could rent a car where the steering is on the left side, but what I think they're referring to is our driving. Compared to the U.S., yes, we do drive on the complete opposite side of the road. If you're Europe, which I think Europe, yeah, you'll be fine. Same same. Caribbean. I think same, same. I know Trinidad for sure. Same, same. Um, left hand side. Um, anything else? Yeah. Like a, 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 a local now. now. He's an islander. So. Yeah. I'm, I'm like cruising through the streets. Yeah. Making my left turns. And they have a lot of roundabouts. So just make sure, actually, before you guys come, if you're going to rent a car, make sure you download maps. Even if you're yes. not going to rent a car, just make sure you download maps. There is no service out here hmm? at all. Unless you're. I'm gonna let her finish before I make my comment. Have Wi Fi. When you're out, it's gonna say you have five bars, but you're not able to load anything on your phone. It's so the just, slowest five bars you've ever had. Exactly. <laughs> basically, it's negative two bars. So yeah. Basically, make sure you download the maps and 
it will save your life. But mm. on the maps, it'll tell you to turn right or turn left, but it's not really a turn right or left. It's a uh, go around the roundabout. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind that you have to stay on. Okay, turn off my Wi-Fi. Um, one second. So I'm strictly on my data. So, God damn it. Okay, strictly on my data. As you can see. Look at this. Oh yeah. Well, more of the story. You see it load out. So to say we don't have any service is fucking crazy. Stop that. We have service. You don't have service or whatever it is you got. Just get a listen. Get a digital. E I won't even say get a local carrier. Just get an e sim symbol. Like I don't even say why would you even want to risk the chance of of getting a plan and get roaming when you could just get an e sim. It's cheaper and whenever it's finished, it's finished. You don't have nothing to dispute with your car your cell phone carrier back home. Just just get an e sim. But to say we have no coverage or little to know is crazy. On the, the left side of the road, so it's it's not really a left or right; it's a circle around yeah. and, and turn. So just keep exactly. that in mind. Google Maps yeah. doesn't. Yeah, know Google Maps the, doesn't really know about it. Yeah. yeah. And so when we landed, we did pick up the rental, and the first thing that we wanted to do was just go out to eat. Mm -hmm. So we went to a restaurant. It was mm -hmm. a beautiful restaurant. I think it was called Mangrove Bay yes. Restaurant. And it was right on like the Good ocean. Spot. Good yeah, they had Good flamingos. Vibe. They had flamingos. We'll enter some for this year, but there were some flamingos and everything. I didn't yeah. know Local they had flamingos is. and Turks and Caicos. It was really cool. They apparently fly out here from time to time. It's really dope. <laughs> Which is really cool, yeah. Yeah. And so um, we went to that restaurant, and the only issue that we had it's was that the their credit card no, machine was down. Mm -hmm. So they were only taking cash, and we think there are a lot of places here mm -hmm. in Turks and Caicos, you know, where they're card machine might be down and you need cash and we didn't have cash because we literally just landed so yeah. a tip to you guys before you even come just bring cash whether yeah. you're getting cash at the airport mm -hmm. just just make sure you have cash on hand because you never know when you're gonna need we it use and US they have tons of food well. trucks out here just if you want to go to any late night spots or anything like that you might just want to have cash to just tip people mm -hmm. in general like there's so many reasons why you want to have cash. So, yeah. and I'm not sure like where you're watching this video from, mm -hmm. but it's not like us. We're from like United New York, States, yeah, yeah, United States, and New York City, that area. And you know, there's an ATM in every corner, yeah, every bodega, everywhere. Not you know? here, not, not here. here. You have to go to the bank. Lie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's like, lie, it's like one or two banks. So yeah. So also just make to save time. I'm gonna reiterate, make sure you download the maps because here people give you directions in the island way. So it'll be like, yeah, go three three kilometers down this way, then you're gonna go on the roundabout, take a left, and it's gonna be like it's gonna be on your right. And we're like, wait, what? But thank God we have Google Maps, so we can just be like, what's the name of the place? Exactly. And we put it just in because we downloaded our map and we're like, okay, this is where the bank is. I promise you, you ask me the direction. We won't go. Now listen, go down this way, turn right, turn left, she right on the left hand side. And listen, I am such a terrible human. I tell you, go somewhere even I don't know what the hell that is. I promise you, it could be in a random street. Or you'd be like, all right, you know where this place is? Yeah, man, you go down this way, turn right, turn left. I am terrible. I'm so sorry. But if you're a tourist, I may have a little pity on you. If you're a local person, why you asking me this shit? <laughs> you stop asking me shit. I let this goddamn tour guy is that we're gonna go to and we went to the bank and it was like smooth yeah you know transition but also keep in mind in Turks and Caicos everything is like five to fifteen minutes away from each other like everything is super close depending on whatever part of Caicos you're in yeah. like everything is so close so it's not like you're driving 20 minutes to yeah. get somewhere you know like the bank will be a small island yeah it's a small island mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and for us we are in middle Tur Turks and Caicos yeah. so we're like in the Grace Bay area mm -hmm. so we're kind of like smack in the middle of everywhere so yeah. nope. all we have to do is just go five ten minutes mm -hmm. east five ten minutes west and everything we need is just right there yeah Two things I want to touch on. They think that the island that they're on is called Providenciales. That is not the Turks and Caicos. That is, okay, the Turks and Caicos Island, Turks and Caicos Islands is made up of eight major islands and over 40 different keys. Right? I want to, I want to stress that very clear. Because this is confusion that you come to Provo or that's it. 
No. There are other islands you could travel to besides Provo. So when people come and say, oh, Turks is boring. I did it last year. You went to North Caicos? Huh? You went to Middle Caicos? Huh? You went to South Caicos? Yeah. Huh? You went to you went to Grand Dur? Huh? You went to Pine Key? Huh? You went to Amargus Key? What about Dallas? What about Parrot? See, I'm place I don't list off. You get me? So keep that in mind. Providence Island is it's just the most popular popular populated pop, populated and most hyped up to be honest and they do use american currency and, so if you and do remember Provo don't even have do the best beach in that. my opinion i don't even know what the currency is it's dirty. I think it's everyone, USD. yeah i think everyone uses usd I out here i haven't seen anything that is not yeah. usd so yeah. i haven't seen like the british pound or anything nope, like that. They once we did shit. land we did go out to eat mm -hmm. like i said they didn't have the, the card machine working so we went to the bank to pick mm -hmm. up cash we went back to the restaurant we enjoyed the restaurant and, and the after, view and the flamingos yeah and, yeah and couple then, shots everything yeah <laughs> after the restaurant we did go back out to make a liquor store run yeah keep in mind i That's mean if you do it. come i don't know if you guys are gonna hotels or if you're gonna get a bnb but if you do want to cook or grill or do anything on this trip you can't just stop by grocery stores they do have that available but if you're gonna buy liquor mm -hmm. liquor is expensive out here so it is if you are checking a bag i would suggest Bring in some of your favorite yeah, bottles. Yeah, just bring some of your bottles. Because it's like double, like a bottle of wine we would buy for like $15. It's yeah, like, like 30, 35 $40 yeah. out here. Beer is expensive. The only thing that's not really expensive are their local rums. liquors. Yeah, their rums, which are good too. Beers. We got the Bombada rum, which is pretty yeah. good. Do you like it? I'm not Yo. Really a dark liquor fan. How she said that shit? The local too. beers. We got the Bombada rum. She said that shit hard. I ain't gonna lie. I wish it was that. She said that shit hard. Bambara. I don't even know how she said that. The Bambara. She, you said that beautiful just now. But it's Bambara. You know? That's the rule. But she's. She, I like her way better. <laughs> how she pronounced it, I like it better. Which is pretty yeah. good. You like it. I'm not really a dark liquor fan. But like, we you have can get like the local boot. rums and stuff like that here for a decent price. But if you're coming and, and you're vodka, trying to get your favorite tequila. liquors, I'll just mm -hmm. say, you know, just, just pack it. You know that advance. little bottle of Hennessy? That usually costs like maybe twenty five, thirty dollars. No, fifty. And uh, we bought a bottle on Moe. It was, it was, it was like, like over a hundred dollars yeah. for, and we would buy it for way less. And the yeah. Bel Air was expensive Bel -Air out here. Bel Air was expensive. That was about like five, ten dollars more expensive. Yeah. So yeah, if That's you something to consider. Yeah, bring in like if you're gonna bring a check bag, just bring your favorite liquor. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. What else, baby? Um, you pay for your costume. Yeah, you know, that's what I was gonna say. Us, I feel like we had frozen <laughs> ice cold beer. It's already getting warm. I know. It just feels like it, at this point, it feels like I'm having soup a little. Even with the breeze, babe. Show them the sweat on your head. Ooh, oh, man. Just, just oh. put it in the camera. <laughs> Ooh. You see that? You see this bald head? All right, babe. Wipe it down. So I can put your hat back oh, on. Man. <laughs> I'm about to like. I'm gonna have to. Bring it out now, baby. <laughs> come on now. <laughs> but yeah, it's really hot here. If you're going to come here, make sure wherever you stay, you have a body of water. You have a body of water. Be Definitely make beach. sure you have your AC. Because <laughs> mm. you're going to be... I know, that's a lot of breeze. Yeah, so like, yeah, make sure you have like a pool by you or at least be a couple blocks from the beach. If you yeah. can be right on the beach, that's amazing. There's a lot of cute boutique hotels out here which have mm -hmm. multiple pools and are like right on the beach. We're at an Airbnb right now, but our Airbnb is like literally 200 meters from the from the beach. We can literally walk and yeah. like drag our kayak. So convenient. And we have a cute little pool right here. I mean, if you check out our Airbnb tour, you'll see how cute yeah. this little vacation, cozy Airbnb is for two. If you do plan to go to the beach, though, I would suggest hopefully like wherever you are, just provide like beach chairs and stuff like that because we went to like a hidden gem yesterday. There were mm -hmm. no like beach chairs or umbrellas. So bring a hat mm -hmm. or bring an umbrella or bring some chairs or towels because yeah. like you can pretty much, there's so many beaches here. Like this beach is like everywhere that you go and they're all beautiful and so clear, so crisp. Um, just make sure you're prepared for a beach day where it's going to be super hot. Sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. And bug spray. Yes, bug spray too. Mm -hmm. Bug spray too, important. When you're done with, you know, enjoying the beach, you go out to eat. Mm -hmm. You know, they have a lot of restaurants, a right lot of on bars, the grills, right on the beach. So, you can go get your conch. That's that's their thing. I they would say, like, it, they grill it, they do everything. Everything, fritters, <laughs> like conch french fries. I don't conch, know, everything, everything is conch, conch, conch salad. salad. <laughs> everything conch. Like, so much conch. So, so. Well, conch your mommy if you bring up and write. 
to the, to the right place. Plain seafood out here. Yeah. If you don't like seafood, it might be a little hard for you to like enjoy the food out here. But they do yeah. have options, options such as yeah. like lamb and chicken yeah. and yeah. You know stuff like that. But conch they have and like seafood. burgers. They're good at making burgers, mm -hmm. sandwiches. Stay tuned for our restaurants video because we did go eat a lot of places. So we're gonna post a video mm -hmm. that has like every restaurant that we pretty much visited out here, just so you guys get some ideas of like. Where you can eat out here. Yeah, it's pretty definitely. awesome. And when you do go out to eat, yeah. make reservations ahead of time. Like for us, it was a little bit difficult because, like Fanta yeah. said, we did plan this literally like two days <laughs> before. Just look at, in advance where you might want to eat. Mm -hmm. Make those reservations because it can get busy, it can get crap crowded, and you never really know what time of day. And this goes it can. with whether or not it's an upscale because we we've, we've gone to both upscale. And like more chill spots too. Upscale restaurants, they say book at least two weeks out. Yeah. And they, the more chill spots you may come and there's no seats and you have to wait. So, I mean, they're on island time here. So just remember like everything is like slow and in a different yes. pace. When people go out to eat, they're there for hours. You don't want to pull up to the restaurant and wait for a table because you're going to be waiting for a table. Like I'm saying, yeah. like we will go to a restaurant, people will be there before us. I and we will leave before them and they will still be there. Yeah. So, just keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. I don't give you my too, mm -hmm. Because the kitchen here closes like about Same. an hour, hour, hour and a half before you know the actual place closes. Mm -hmm. Don't expect to be eat to like find many places open nope. past mm -hmm. 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. You might find one or two places. Like one spot we found was the pork okay. shack. Yeah, yeah, they do have some late night spots where you'll go get like sandwiches and stuff like that, mm -hmm. like fun food, which is cool. But if you want like that really like gourmet, like nice kitchen, fine dining, or like good eating, make sure like you make nine. your reservations. Make sure you go early. And if you want to catch a good sunset, their restaurants are like by the beach and on the water and stuff like that. So if you want to see like that nice, beautiful skyline, try to time it around like sunset. Because yeah. it's gorgeous here. It really is. It really, it really is. is. And you know, when you're done with dinner, you got to cap it off with some... Some good, nightlife, Some good right? nightlife, yeah. <laughs> well, when we first started doing research on Turks and Caicos, mm -hmm. I'm tripping, right, baby? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hold, on, we, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, it's hot. We're, we're gonna Look, have to end this. In I don't even know. Oh. All right, guys. So going back to how hot it is, the camera just <laughs> literally overheated and shut yeah. down on us. But we're wrapping up this video anyway. Yeah. We had so. to switch over to our phone. So nightlife, yeah. A lot of people say there's no nightlife in Turks and Caicos, but we've been lit since we've been hey. here. We came on a Wednesday night, did we? Thursday night. We came on a Thursday night, so it started sure. early. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you already yep. know. Straight litness. Yeah, so we're going to definitely post a, a nightlife vlog so you guys can see like yeah. some of the stuff that they have out here. But a lot of people think that there's nothing to do, but out here they definitely have shisha lounges and a people lot of shisha definitely lounges. turn up at night and twerk mm -hmm. and do all of that stuff. A lot of live music, mm -hmm. bars. Yeah. yeah, The locals are very friendly, mm -hmm. so you know, easy to talk to. Yeah, there's things to do out here. And, and my favorite part that everybody asks, we just an island full of niggas, respectfully. Like, how to say this? This is for my black people, it, it, white people, respectfully. This is something that matters to us. The population of the Turks and Caicos is 97, 95% black folks. You know, like in America, you're the minority, we're the majority here, right? So that's something to think about, right? And we love our we love our live band. Boy, we love our live band, like live music, and that's something we take serious. And there's places you can go to. They're just talking about the popular. They don't know. They they ain't even talking about how you could go by a rooftop. You could go by um, David karaoke, sing some oldies. Um, but David is not like a get low and suck it to your mama. It's more of a mature audience. If you're more up there in age mature vibes, David is for you. Trust me, you can have fun. Eat yourself some soup, some, some not soup, some sauce. You're good. You know, if you want, See if some you want a good vacation, Teddy nice, with the older folks. chill, calm vacation, blue waters, but also there is some fun activity at yes. night. Um, Turks and Caicos is a spot. So we'll keep you guys updated. Stay tuned for more videos. Yeah. Because we just want to share the experience with you. Yeah, basically. That's the end of that. But, yeah. And, oh, you guys, should, like, for the for the hype, for the hype beast, like, the baddies. You got the Shisha Lounge, Aziza, Rooftop, um, Blue, um, 
That's a nice place I can't remember off the top. Noah's Ark. That's on a Sunday. You can come to all the places and find yourself a sponsor. If you know, <laughs> you know. And another thing. Stop coming to the church and kickers thinking it's affordable. If you break and you can't afford it, stay your ass home. We don't cater to the broke respectfully. This is not, oh, it's too expensive. God damn it, if you can't afford it, don't go. Don't come. Stop coming to church complaining about the prices. If you can't afford it, don't come. Moral of the story. Oh my gosh, it was 10 times expensive. Yes, it's expensive. You talking, you complaining, you just visited. Imagine me who live here. But if you're new to the channel, smash the like button, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me which one we react to, and I'm out until the next one. Peace.